The discussion over money in college athletics has only gotten more complicated over the last couple of years with discussions over compensation and NIL deals taking center stage. Those issues for colleges and student athletes also taking center stage in Sioux Falls today. Cooper Seamert joins us now with more. Cooper, good evening. Yeah, Brian and Andrea, student athletes and universities from around the region made their way to the campus of Augustana this afternoon as the university and the NSIC hosted an engagement listening session. Money in college athletics has drastically changed in a short amount of time. The rules over name, image, and likeness deals have taken off in each individual state, and student athletes at different levels in the NCAA say it's a wild west with rules. Folks from D3 talked about the fact that in D3, scholarships are based on uh, financial need. Um, they don't do athletic scholarships. D2 you, is the only place you can combine academic and athletic scholarships. Student athletes on Tuesday's panel say that they're at a disadvantage when it comes to those NIL deals, both lacking opportunities and information that more well-known athletes have. Division two and Division three, we might not have like the big name or the big image or the big likeness, like a like a Spencer Rattler or like a you know a Power Five quarterback or um, a lot of these different athletes that we've seen take full advantage of. South Dakota Senator John Thune, a member of the Senate Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation, which oversees the NCAA, says he's heard more from universities and student athletes on their concerns about a potential employment structure than benefits. I think you heard very strongly that if they get to where it's an employee-employer type relationship with schools, a lot of the sports are going to go by the wayside. Thune says it's Congress's job to help out the NCAA where it can't at a federal level, and that's bringing uniformity to conferences and states when it comes to NIL rules. Every state now is trying to give their schools a competitive advantage over schools in another state, and if we continue down that road, you're going to have 50 a patchwork of these rules, and, and that doesn't, that just is, is totally confusing. Both Baker and Thune say that they're planning on taking these issues and the discussion from today's panel back with them to their offices. And sooner rather than later, they hope to get at least the ball rolling to address these organizationally and at a federal level. 